Try from day to day up we go. Flies. Hey, I'm Boulder with Friday Night Flies. It is Friday night. Hey, we're doing something new tonight, too. We're going to let them know that we're going to be answering questions tonight. You hear that, I, Brad? I know that I don't have enough to do already, monitoring things, but we're going to try our best to answer a few questions because I know one individual, Mr. Mooney, he's, hey, Mooney. Uh, he's definitely got some questions for Sup, us. We Mooney? Want we, Sup. we want to hear him. We want to hear him. We want to answer him as best we can. Any on we don't want to take from the show. So what are we doing tonight? Are they are they talking in or did they just type? Type uh, from, from what I gather, it's a new feature. So if I'm a little slow at it, don't worry, we'll get to it. Right on. Evolving is Friday Night Flies. Uh, tonight we are doing a caddis pupa. Um, it is something like Scotty Holmes and I were just talking. He said it was something that he was missing from his box and kind of realized it was what I was missing from my box too. I found this one on a fly tying forum that I'm participate in. Um, looked pretty cool. Never done it before, so cool. I did one up They're tonight. They're awesome. Pure awesome. Pure awesomeness. Um, pretty simple tie. Uh, it's nice little features on it, and uh, it's fished in your surface film or just underneath, so usually with a dry line and on the rivers of BC in the west here. And uh, So if we go down to the other cameras, we'll show you how to do the recipe for the weekend. For this weekend? For this weekend. There it is. What a beautiful tie. Let's right. take that. Oh, look at that thing. No, so that's it. We got uh, the legs. We got the antennas coming out. Um, body. Head. So I'm going to get this out of here and uh, show you how we're doing this. And I'm using a size 10 curved caddis hook. <laughs> I would think I would do these in any size range between size 8 and 12, maybe 14, if I can work my fingers down to that small. <laughs> That's a small haul. I tied some 16s this week, Scotty, and I was like, it's squinting and not bending the hook. There's just so much to it. It's so to tie a really complicated pattern on a 16 hook is, takes some yeah, skill. Yeah, it takes, sure. takes some patience. So it doesn't really matter what color thread you're using. Um, most of it's going to be all covered up anyways. So I just happen to have uh, some olive here on my bobbin, so that's what I'm using. So we're taking this down the bend of the hook. I'm using some... Here, Sean Mooney could help me out with this one. I know he's uh, special ordered a whole whack of this from from Spud Valley when he yeah, saw it he in did. the background. Yeah, he did. He's gonna be choked that you got some. And I, before it got sent out to you, I made sure that I got one of every color. So, uh, oh, he, he Swan does. Swan and Did he get all of it? Yeah, he took it all. Yeah, so I went through. <laughs> Thanks, Sean. And, uh, <laughs> that night, what when I saw you, Sean Mooney he take it all. Yeah. Hoarder. He's a hoarder. As soon as I saw that, uh, oh, you guys got that stuff, and when I looked, I was like, oh. So I pulled uh, one of every color for myself in size. So here you go. Here's a fly you can use with your newly purchased materials from Spud Valley. So I'm going to, uh, I have it. It is color 84, which is uh, kind of a really pale color. I'll be ready next time. I'm using the pale color because I'm going to be running in a dubbing color. Or, I'm using the color for the body is going to be dubbing, and then I use this over top. So I want it to be translucent. See you, man. Later, Scotty. Good job. You know what? Even better. I want to get Sean live on here one night with us. Yeah, that'd, that'd be, be super cool. We're in the right? chat room. There's no reason why he can't talk fly in another window. and We'll just start it off the way we started off, and uh, we'll put through. the heat on him for a change. There we go. Because okay. <laughs> I'm sure he's he spells or says things incorrectly, but we're, we're going to get on it here. <laughs> um, I got some pheasant tail, so we're going to be pheasant using boy. this, tying sure. it in right at the back. I want maybe three fibers. It is pretty small. I'm going to tie them tips down, or tip in, if I can. Whew. It's been a while since I've tied these small little guys. Okay, so now we're down to two. The last one. Yeah, just get him in. <laughs> Marco, thanks for throwing some questions. But well, they're supposed to be questions, not answers. <laughs> All right, 
so I got those tied. Brazil. And get this body evened off a little bit. I'll tell you, the broadcast tonight's looking pretty good. It's looking clean. It's looking really clean. And uh, if anybody has any secrets how to make things look even better on G+, let us know. All right, I got myself some uh, scud dubbing. You can use uh, UV or ice dubbing, but uh, I'm using the scud because it has the color that I'm looking for, which is this real coppery orange color. So I'm going to dub it onto my thread. Don't hit the camera, Scott. Yeah, you're throwing it out there, brother. Shorten this up a little bit. There we go. Build a little bit of a taper when you're going forward. Just need a little bit more to finish this off. So I'm coming up just uh, just past halfway. I want to leave room for my my legs, wing, and head. Okay, I'm going to take those pheasant fibers that I had earlier tied in. I'm going to bring them straight up the back. I am in. So that's also why I'm using the, uh, the clear wrapping material because that will show up. And then we're going to wrap over top. Of our dubbing. Man, that looks sexy. It's looking sexy. Make sure that that pheasant tail stays on top. Keep on top. Okay. Get this tied off. And you're gonna have a couple you're gonna have some of that ice stepping poking through. Not a big deal. Um, you kinda want it actually. Alright, so Next, we're going to do is invert this. Oh, keep my feet off the bench. I got some uh, turkey flats, micro fleck. And we're just going to peel off a little bit here. And this is what we're going to be doing our legs with on the underside. So that's a nice stiff, stiff feather. Make sure that my Flexor to the back, and you're looking for them to be um, not too long. They're pretty short. You don't want it to uh, come back any farther than the hook point. So I'm going to get those tied in. And I want them, if I can do this, to stand up. So I'm going to go underneath them with my thread. And just wrap them right back to uh, where you put in the lace. 
cut off this tags. All right. Now I have some Lady Amherst here. And I just need a couple of shorter pieces. I thought I had two, but apparently I have one. So this Lady Amherst is going to be about one and a half times to two times the length of the entire book shank. Got one, I can't find the other. There's another one. And I'm going to make sure that they stay separated. Hold them down tight so they stand straight up. And I'll tell you, that extra light tonight is making a huge difference on the patterns. Making them look nice and shiny and prosaic. And your fingers look nice and clean. You clean them this night before you get <laughs> yeah, you <did. laughs> If you guys didn't know, Scotty here, Mr. Boulder, he is a chef at Southside Diner in Whistler. If you're in Whistler, stop in and chat him up. He loves fishing. He loves talking about fishing. And he's one hell of a cook. I tell you, man. You'll leave there full. I guarantee you it. Definitely will leave there full. All right, so for the head dubbing that I'm using, I'm using a dry fly dubbing and not my scud dubbing or anything else because this is going to help to keep it up on the surface. And uh, ooh, if you uh, like to add a little bit more embellish, you could always wrap in a little bit of CDC. Not working. I just can't do it. I'm new to it. Yeah. So, I'm going to build in this head here. And of course, you do it in a whole bunch of different uh, color combinations. It's going to help match the hatch that's in your area. Okay. Quick little whip finish. And on these tiny flies, I like to head cement right on my thread here. It saves me from mucking up everything. So soak that thread, do your little whip finish, and you should be secure. Sexy. And that is your caddis, pupa. Rotate that sucker. Let's have a bit more. Oh, so, I don't know if you, the camera should be picking up these little fibers oh, and yeah. stuff here. No, no, yeah, so the pupa is the last stage before it turns into an adult, so this is why we're doing it for a surface film. So, all this stuff, that's all good. That's, you know, the, the insect getting ready to chuck its old, its old case. So, it's going to be breaking down. There's going to be fibers. That's right. Out with the old, in with the new, buddy. That's right. So, uh, that's it right there. Perfect. Let's go up top. That was beautiful. That was your second time tying that fly too, was it not? Yep. Yeah, I'm pretty stoked. In the video, we said that it was your first crack out of it. Well, I was typing you. Uh, yeah, it I, I did a quick crack off uh, while he was setting up the video. Um, yeah. We're gonna do another quick one here because I there's I seen some new features on here that I want to mess with and. Uh, okay. We'll see if we can get so, them uh, to work. Apparently, I'll be back with another fly. <laughs> or you don't can. know what. <laughs> <laughs> the okay, mad scientist. So, Scotty Boulder. It's Boulder, Friday Night Flies. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, if you guys missed any shows tonight, you can visit us at uh, FridayNightFlies.com. Yeah, we have most of our archives all up on there. Yeah. Yeah, um, other than that, you can uh, Google search, or not Google search, uh, YouTube. YouTube search, Friday Night, Friday Night Flies, Flies and yeah. they're all on there. They definitely are all on there. Yeah, there's got to be almost 100, 100 flies anyhow now, right? It's getting up there. There's there's a nice little list of them. Hey, Bryce, pass us that. And, uh, yeah, join us uh, every Friday live. 5 just, p.m. Just, uh, uh, Pacific Coast. From last week. Or and we've, yeah, we've started... Uh, Putting a little show piece for at the store. Yeah, if you guys have any questions, you come in, check out the board, and so it looks pretty darn sexy. Get your mitts on them, and that's just in the last couple of weeks what we've been doing. 
Um, yeah. Anyhow, we'll Sign be back. Tight lines. Wet nets. Wet nets. <laughs>